What's going on guys, it's Bones, and welcome to part 2 of our Pokemon- I'm so used to saying Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories Let's Play. And uh, as you remember in last episode, I lost this guy. So, we're gonna try to uh, beat him again, and I restarted the game and I actually rolled a bit of a better deck this time. <clears throat> and uh, we'll go over it in the, uh, in the deck preview. We actually have, uh, I, I, I got a zombie warrior, which is pretty cool, and I got a silver fang, and I got a lot of plants, so I can make a, uh, a, uh, pump king, king of ghosts. Um, I got an ancient jar, which is nice. Jars are nice to have, because they could, uh, make some good fusions, like, uh, mystical sand and ushioni. Um, we have, uh, some machines, which is good, some more plants. Mega Thunderbolt, which is a great card to start off with because uh, electric things are pretty cool because you could start it all, uh, um, combine it with uh, water to make a Bolt S card go. And then I don't have any dragons, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, you know, Thunder plus Dragon would be the uh, King Headed Thunder Dragon, or uh, Two Headed Thunder Dragon. But uh, I actually got a living vase, which I actually... I, oh, that's just fire grass, but creepier. I got two queens doubles and a flame viper, which is nice. Um, so uh, let's hop into this duel, and hopefully we can get uh, some better rolls this time. There's someone screaming outside my house, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to be right back. Uh, it was actually just my neighbor across the street. Uh, he's shoveling snow and he's from Staten Island, so what are you going to do about it? Um, we have some interesting stuff here. We can... I think... This is a beast. Um, I think we could actually fuse these two together to make a flower wolf. Which I'm at, I'm, I hope we can make a flower wolf. We cannot make a flower wolf with that. So uh, that's a bit unfortunate, so I'm going to be starting off with a pretty lame card. Uh, as he's going to lead with probably something that could take me out. Yeah, he's going to lead with something that could take me out, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, it's a dragon zombie. Which I'm not too worried about. But uh, I am going to want to get rid of that this turn. Um, I can put these two together to make a dice armadillo. Which uh, will just barely have enough attack to get rid of it. So you see 1650, I'll be able to take out the Dragon Zombie, which is good. Uh, because if you leave a card on your opponent's side of the field for like an extra turn, uh, there's a better chance that he's going to uh, make a fusion out of it. He's probably going to go into defense mode here, which he does. Um, we have some electric stuff, some... a lot of waters, Penguin Knight. I think I'm actually just going to put out the Penguin Knight. And uh, take this out with the Dice Armadillo, because I actually could have taken it out with the Dragon Knight. But uh, this guy has a very zombie themed deck, uh, which is kind of cool. I'm going to do some damage with the Penguin Knight. He's probably going to be able to take out the Penguin Knight, which is okay. Uh, because if he takes that out, then I'll probably just be able to take out whatever he wants to do with my Dice Armadillo. Uh, he has a little D. Haha, <laughs> little D. But that's kind of cool. I forgot to uh, add a question of the day. So uh, let's do that right now. The question of the day will be, what is your favorite candy? I'm a big Twizzler fan. I like Twizzlers a lot. Uh, let's put out the Megaris Light. And uh, take this thing out with the Dice Armadillo and then do some extra damage. We're probably not going to get a very good rank on this duel because the way I'm playing, I did lose a couple life points and I'm not doing many fusions. And uh, I am losing cards, so that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, he actually doesn't attack, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have a Lagool. I'm just gonna throw out my twin long rods. And I'm going to attack this with the light. <sighs> it's not enough, damn. That's unfortunate. But we'll be able to take it out with uh, Dice Armadillo. Which, uh, not too bad, not too bad. As you see, the Guardian Star did raise his uh, thing, but it wasn't enough. As I do have a bit higher attack points than he had defense points, and that's how this game works. And, uh, 
I'm sure most people at least know that. Uh, we've got a plant here. We can make a zombie, not a zombie, um, a bean soldier. And uh, you know I love my bean soldiers. Let's go ahead. We're going to try to attack this with Megra Slide again. Hopefully we'll be able to take it out. And unfortunately, no, it's another one with uh, a thousand defense. So, um... Some more unfortunate things. I would have liked to get a bit more life points off on him that turn. Um, but, uh, we're definitely not going to lose again, which is cool. He's going to go out. Um, he didn't play the first card in his deck, which means he's probably going to... Ooh, he could actually take out the Bean Soldier. He's an armored zombie. Um, it's kind of, it kind of sucks that I'm not going to get a good rank on this one, because... Because, um, I would have liked to, uh, because he could, he could actually give out some pretty good cards, is what I mean to say. I'm going to put together the Penguin Soldier and the Mega Thunder Ball to make a bolt S cargo. Which, uh, it's not that good, but, uh, it, it's got some, it's got some good defense going for him. And, um, I believe, yeah, I'll be able to win this turn. So at least we have that going for us. Go ahead and tap Megaris Light. Go Twin Long Rods. And finish him off with a Bolt S Cargo. Let's see this Bolt S Cargo in action. That friggin' snail. Bolt S Cargo. So we're gonna win that one, and uh, we get a Water Dragon Fairy. I don't believe that's actually a dragon, I believe that's a water type monster, which is a bit unfortunate. Because I would like to get a dragon. As you see, we only got a C rank from that one. I won. I guess I owe you a card. I'm going to talk to someone else. We could uh, duel this guy now. You talking to me, boy? I got better things to do. Unless you want to challenge me. Yeah, let's uh, pummel this old man. As we see, yeah, it is actually a water card. But we're actually going to put that in the deck because it is an 1100 uh, card. Uh, let's see what we can get rid of. What do we not need? We probably get rid of one of our lesser water cards. I might have, uh... I could probably get rid of the Penguin Soldier here. That one's not doing too much for me. Alright, and uh, let's hop into this. We're gonna see what, uh... This guy is uh, even harder than the last guy, as you could probably assume, because that's how things work. Um, I don't have much going for me right now. I think what I may want to do is... Well, Barrel Lily, I guess, is our strongest card, so we're going to put that one out. I probably should have sacked off some cards there in retrospect to try to uh, get some good fusions going up. But uh, he might be able to take out my card here, which he is going to. Which stinks. He has a Baby Dragon, which uh, hopefully he doesn't have Time Wizard. Um, yeah, he doesn't really have, uh, I don't really have much to do here, so we're just going to sack off some cards, and uh, throw this into defense mode. Hopefully we're not going to end up losing this one too, as he is going to, okay, he's going to make a metal dragon. I could deal with a metal dragon. I could definitely deal with a metal dragon, given that I get a good hand here, so that I could uh, possibly get a good fusion going on. Okay, so we do have this. Electro Whip, uh, Female Creatures, I can add that to my Mystical Sand, actually, which is cool, so we're gonna get a good, uh, nice and 2600 attack Mystical Sand going on here, which, uh, is going to be able to deal with the Barrel Dragon, and, uh, should be in a good standing for this duel. Probably not gonna get S rank, uh, hopefully I can get away with an A rank, though. As you see, um... A lot of the uh, equip cards in this game have uh, different effects as they would normally. I guess that one just works with female creatures. I'm going to throw out a WoW Warrior here. Hopefully I'll be able to take out whatever this card is with a WoW Warrior. And I am, luckily, by uh, 50 attack points. And uh, we're going to get off a nice big chunk of 2600 damage with our Mystical Sand, which is nice. Which is really, really, really nice. Um, this should be a pretty quick duel. It's one of those things where sacking off cards isn't the most recommended thing to do. 
But, um, I mean, when you're in a situation like that where you have no uh, good fusions to make, it's, uh, you know, like, you might as well uh, use the WoW Warrior to take care of his corroding shark. Um, am I going to be able to win this turn? No, not this turn. Attack with the Water Dragon Fairy should leave him at 900, I think? 950. Okay, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm totally fine with it. He's going to put down his thing. I'm just going to throw out a... Twin Long Rods 2. He's got his most attack points. Uh, no reason not to. He's only going to win anyway. Let's attack a Water Dragon Fairy. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take it out with that. But it's okay, because I can attack the Mist with Sand. And... Finish him off with the Wild Warrior. So it's going to be that tool. Hopefully, I don't think we're going to get away with an A rank on that one. Hopefully. I might be able to get around with an A rank. Get away with an A rank. We actually get a B rank and a Frog and Jam. So nothing great there. Nothing great going on there. <laughs> I reckon I lost. Looks like this just isn't my day. Let me go ahead and talk to someone else here. Here's Tay again. Aren't you ready to go yet? Oh wait, I didn't mean to talk to someone else. Um, I'm actually just gonna go outside because I don't want to battle those yet because they actually they actually do get harder if you do that now. And uh, I don't think I'm ready to do that just yet. <clears throat> so we're at the town plaza, so uh, there might be some interesting stuff happening here. Wow, there are lots of people around. Look, the mages are about to start their procession. Their pro. Uh, I I didn't read that word correctly. I don't think. Awesome. But kind of spooky, too. This must be the work of that detestable high mage, Heishin. When I was a kid, I used to be more wholesome. It used to be more wholesome. Even the attitude of the mages have changed for the worst. What's our world coming to? Ellipsis, question mark. Want to go someplace else? Look, it's Jono. I can't believe it, but he's dueling over there. I... I lost. I believe I have wasted my efforts on an insignificant speck. So we, here we see, we see Seto. The, uh, I think he's a uh, high priest, Seto. Did I read that yet? I believe I have wasted my efforts on an insignificant speck. Say what? I'm actually going to be right back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Say what? Brooklyn Rage. Brooklyn Rage. Forgive my choice of words. You are mildly entertaining. Hey, Jono. Oh, her name is Tina. <laughs> Tina. Or Tana. I don't know. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. What's going on? What do you think? Ain't it obvious? You lost. Don't be so blunt. I didn't lose. I had a setback. I grow weary of this insect. Is there not one among you that is worthy of my attention? Man, the nerve of this guy. They don't speak like they're in ancient Egypt. I'm just gonna point that out right there. Hey Bones, why don't you try to challenge him? After all, you're the best duelist I've ever seen. I'll bet you can beat him. Yeah, Bones, do it. Show him who's boss around here. Who's the boss? Tony Dance. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. 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 Are you my next victim? Alright, so we're gonna end this off by dueling Seto. Uh, hopefully we could win this one. It'd be a bit unfortunate if we couldn't, to be completely honest. I am going to have to pause this again. Excuse me, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm just getting interrupted by a bunch of people today. I'm sorry about that. But uh, let's let's get back into this. Master Seto, Master Heishin calls for you. I see. So be it. The duel is postponed. Am I correct to us in assuming that you frequent? What? Am I correct in assuming that you frequent in that you frequent the town's duel field? That's right. Then wait there. I shall grace you with a visit. Seto is my name. 
remember it. Can you believe that guy? A mage with attitude. Yeah, real charmer. <laughs> I got a feeling Bones would put him in his place, won't you, buddy? Come on, let's look around and then head for the dual field. Oh, man. This sure is something else. They definitely did not talk like this in ancient Egypt, I'm just gonna... I mean, I guess it's for the translation, but they, they, they just really didn't, like... Try to, like, who says G's? No one, in, like, actually says G's anyway. <clears throat> G's, who does that mage think he is anyway? I gotta admit, though, that guy was real tough. Hey, Bonds, how about a game until that guy comes back? Yeah, we'll do. We'll, 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 uh, we'll amuse him. I may have lost the last game, but I ain't lost my touch. Hey. Yeah, okay, we just got Frog the Jam last time, so nothing too great. Uh, Jono could be a difficult opponent uh, if you let him, like, set up a fusion. Uh, it, it could be... It could be dangerous. But uh, we see that we actually don't lead with anything too great. But we can get up a... Uh, a Cyber Soldier, which is nice. Um, I think one of, one of, like, the big things here is that if you lead with a fusion on your first turn... Um, it could kind of like intimidate your opponent into uh, just kind of throwing stuff out there. I think that's how the mechanics of this game work. But we actually draw Zombie Warrior and Dark Plants. So we're actually going to set that up and make a Pump King. King of Ghosts. Which is uh, really nice to have. Nice and 1800 attack. We're going to kill this thing with Cyber Soldier because I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, it's just a Mystic Lamp. I believe I, I, I've lost to Jono a few times on the first time because uh, if, uh, like, like I said, if you let him set up something, uh, he can actually be a pretty intimidating opponent. But uh, if you keep on the offense, usually they just kind of back down. Um, I think if we use these three, we could make like a Flame Swordsman. So we're going to try to do that. I'm not entirely sure if it makes a Flame Swordsman, but yeah, it does. So that's really nice. Again, uh, we're gonna attack with Cyber Soldier, which uh, should be able to destroy the change slime. And uh, now we have a pretty good advantage over Jono in this duel, which uh, which is really nice. Flame Swordsman is another really cool card to have. Uh, I know you can just get it in uh, later on in the game. You get a lot stronger cards, so you're not gonna be dealing with just a bunch of like junk ass fusions the entire time. Um, this is a female, right? Oh, wait, no, this is literally just a chain. It looks like a female and, like, a little sprite. Um, we're just going to... Do we have a female thing out? No. Uh, let's just throw out the Penguin Knight. Because I think the Penguin Knight should be able to take care of this card, because it should be relatively weak. Now, I don't think when you battle Seto the first time, I don't think he has the blue eyes. Or at least he shouldn't. But uh, I, know, I know he does have some pretty strong cards. So hopefully we can lead off with a good fusion to... I uh, actually probably should have saved there before we went to the dual grounds. But uh, all, all, all's fair. That's fine. We got a little Chimera, which is cool. Uh, I believe that's a fire-type monster, which is nice to uh, maybe get some more of those flame swordsmen out there. Jeez, Bones, you whip me. You know, you are good. Do me a favor and beat that mage, will ya? There he is. He's back. Look at that. He's got his own groupies. Do me a favor and whip the guy. Do it, Bonds. Yeah, this is just, just silly stuff going on here. <clears throat> I don't know who you are. I'm sorry. I don't know how good you are, but I hope you will entertain me. I will have you know that I enjoy a good game. Do not disappoint me. Right, so we're going to be... Um, little Chimera, um, it's not, oh, it is fire, so that might not be too bad to add to the deck over something that we don't entirely need. We can get rid of one of these bugs. We don't need rid of bugs. So, we're starting this game now. And, uh, hopefully we don't lose, because I would really like to, uh, not lose, uh, for the last duel two episodes in a row. 
Okay, we could uh, start off with the Pump King, which is cool. So, uh, off the bat, we're in a pretty good position. Um, yeah, it's gonna put in the Pumpkin out there. Like I said, making a fusion first turn is really gonna put the pressure on your opponent to uh, do some stuff. I think... I think Fire, Grass, and Little Chimera could be something, but I'm not sure, so we're gonna try it out. It is something. Oh, it's a Flame Cerberus. <laughs> Great. So, uh, we could attack the Pumpkin so we can deal more damage, uh... See that? See, it's putting pressure on him, and he's putting out. I feel like I feel like that's just the way the AI is set up. Like, if you start off strong, then uh, it puts like a lot of pressure on them, and it kind of just forces them to throw out some like garbage cards that they may have. Um, let's try this. I don't know if this is a thing. We're gonna find out if this is a thing. It's not a thing. I just wasted my Thunderbolt. Okay. Um, I'm cool with it. I'm actually gonna throw this into defense mode. Because, uh, I don't really want to lose any life points. Because he could very well easily throw out a card to, uh, take out the, uh, little thing here. What's it called? The Living Days. And I'm not, uh, I'm not about that. You see, uh, he picks a card here and that's probably gonna be able to... Oh, no. He just throws it into defense mode. That's fine. Um, I think I can make another Flame Cerberus. Yep, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Flame Service is another good card, uh, just because 2100 is like a really good number early in the game. Even later in the game, uh, cards 2100 are usually... They're just a staple. I feel like that's just the number. Like, there's just a lot of good cards with 2100 attack points in this game, because that's just a good number to have in this game. There are a few things to beat it, but uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to beat Seto pretty easily. A lot easier than I expected it to be, to be completely honest. We're going to get an Abyss Flower, which is okay. It's another plant. I would have really liked a dragon. But uh, what are you going to do? I think we could actually continue on with this because it's only been about 22 minutes. Uh, he cannot believe he lost. But wait a moment. You. You are. Hmm. I see. Enough. That is all for today. I have a feeling our paths will cross again somewhere. Till then, I bid ye farewell. You did it, Bonce. Did you see the look on his face? You were great. Bonce, you're just too good. I bid you farewell. Ha, what a loser. Bonce, well, what now? You still got some time? Uh, we're not gonna duel them again just yet. Um... We're going to save those for a bit later on in the game. Okay, so we're at the dual ground. So what we can do is we can go to the card shop real quick. And there's this really funny fat guy there that you can uh, save your game with. We're just going to save here. Um, I don't know what he looks like. I know, I know he reminds me of someone, but... Uh, I can't think of it, so if you guys if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. Like if he reminds you of anything, uh, let me know. I'd be I'd be uh, interested in hearing that. I guess. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My allergies are acting up a bit. I don't know what it is. But uh, there's the shrine. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the Pharaoh's palace right now. My palace. They call me the Prince, but I'm pretty sure I'm the Pharaoh. I don't know if I have, like, parents around here somewhere. I've, I, don't, I don't see them. Well, it's about time. Go on now. Off to your room. I'm upset because I'm blue and I have to cover my face because no one wants to see me. I really hope you're ready to call it a day. Sometimes I wonder if the Prince does this just to annoy me. How can I teach these deeds? Lord Simon Miran, we've got trouble. The the High Mage, the High Mage Heshin and his men. They wield a strange power. They're invading the palace. What? I think it's sorcery, my lord. I'm afraid there's not we can I'm afraid there's not we can do to fend them off. Where's the High Mage now? 
In the palace hall, my lord. Heeshin. Heeshin. What can we... What? Fuck. I'm so bad at reading today, I don't know what it is. Heeshin, heeshin, what can that dog have in mind? Wah! What the... My pillars! And this guy is a fucking creepo. <clears throat> it's good to see you again, Simon Muron. You dance and revolt? Are you mad? Mad? Me? I don't think so. But I've come to claim my throne. Your throne? Yes, my throne. For I now have the power. That's inside. The power? No, it cannot be. I see the recognition in your eyes, but we, but then we both draw our roots from our sorceress forefathers. The power of darkness. That's right. I've discovered the forbidden treasure. Here, yeah, taste the power of the forbidden darkness. I believe that is the Millennium Rod. Uh, it doesn't look like the like the casual Millennium Rod. It's not usually like green, but I guess uh, he pimped it out because he's Haitian and he's pretty. Pretty uh, classy dude. Look at that hat. You, you, nobody could tell me that they have a hat cooler than that one. Here, taste the power of. The, fuck. Here, taste the forbidden power of darkness. Darkness. I was born in the darkness, molded by it. You nearly adapted the darkness. Question mark. Exclamation point. Yeah, in that order. Prince Bones! The High Mage Heeshan has invaded the palace! This place is too dangerous, we must leave at once! I don't know who you are, but... Get the fuck out of my way so I could teach this Heeshan boy a lesson. No. Prince Bones, did you hope to escape me? We meet again. Alright, men. Away with the servant. Oh, they captured my bitch. I wish to speak with the prince. By your command. Prince Bones! Be quiet and come with us. Why do you flee, Bones? Heeshin already heals the king and queen captive. Oh, I do have parents. Running away would only provoke Heeshin to end their lives. Is that what you want? Well, I'll tell you what I want. Something that only one of royal blood would know. The location of the Millennium Item. Tell me where it is and I'll spare the king and queen. You know- <coughs> Excuse the fuck out of me. You know where it is, so tell me. Refuse. Don't take me for a fool. You know where it is. My prince! I keep giving him so many different voices. Simon Miran! Dear Prince, here it is, the Millennium Item. Take it, take it and run. Bones gets the Millennium Puzzle. Give me back my Millennium Puzzle, you big dickweeds. Oh, look at him, you get pretty beat up. Look at his snake. You must keep this treasure from falling into the hands of those vermin. The treasure itself is the final key to unlocking the seal of great power. Should it fall in the hands of the wicked, it would mean Armageddon. Well, well. You couldn't have brought it at a better time. Hand over the key to me right now, and I might help the two of you escape from Heeshin. Ignore this cur. He wags his tail at Heeshin's command. He is not to be trusted. Leave him to me, my prince. You must escape. Out of my way, old man. Go, my prince. Run. Let's try running. And... Oop. Creepo. <clears throat> Do not move. You are mine. I see you have found them, Seto. Well done. Yes, my lord. Ugh. You didn't think you'd escape me, did you? There's no point in rescuing. Admit your defeat and hand it over. Give me the Millennium Item. Only one option remains, my prince. 
You must do battle with Heshin. Challenge him to a duel with your cards and a Millennium item. So we're gonna duel him. A wasted effort, boy. You lack the power to defeat me. And you'll find out uh, in a little bit that we actually do lack the power to defeat him. Um, and this is basically something in the game you literally can't win unless you're like crazy good with grinding for cards which you shouldn't be because you haven't been able to grind for cards yet but uh as you see the field is set to dark off the top and uh we uh don't have any fusion but it's not gonna but we can put out our buff megaris light and uh as you can see he's going to play one card and uh, it's the Black Skull Dragon. He's gonna completely wreck me. He just has, like, overpowered cards. See, this is a zero. So, uh, I mean... I'm not gonna try to win this because there's literally no reason to. So I'm just going to, uh... Let's see a cool animation. Let's see the Black Skull Dragon in the, uh, 3D format. I feel like that'd be at least fun to see. Ooh, look at this. And the 3D format also changes if you have a field spelled card out. Which is uh, pretty cool, and this one is easily the coolest one. So I have my little pixie thing here, which is uh, going to be completely destroyed by the coolest card that has ever existed. Black Skull Dragon. Look at that monster. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Unfortunately, we're not going to be... Uh, no, I think we actually do see him attack to uh, rebut, because we can't do anything here. We're going to use some sort of pixie magic here, and uh, what, what is happening? What are you doing? Are you attacking? Oh, he's, he's using Feather Dance. That was actually a kind of cool attack that she had. You don't see that too often because it's not like a good card that you would uh, do that with. But uh, let's see this Black Skull Dragon and all its beauty. I'm really glad he used this card against me at least, because I don't I don't feel much shame in losing to a Black Skull Dragon. Because I need to look at that thing. Friggin' monster. Look at that. Friggin' Fire Blast. Explosions and just, look at, that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah, just... <coughs> Someone just came in my room again. <coughs> I'm just getting all types of interrupted today while I'm trying to record. Uh, but I mean, that's okay. So, he's gonna play a card, and uh, hopefully he'll attack with it to see another card in his deck. But he's not going to, he's just gonna finish me off with the Black Skull Dragon, as I would have liked. So, uh, that's gonna be the end of that. <coughs> Man, am I coughing up a storm today. And, uh, obviously he wins because uh, that's ridiculous. The first time I played this game, I was actually kind of upset because I thought that uh, I'd have to I'd have to start over after losing that duel, but... Why are people talking outside of my room? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, people are talking. Foolish child, you've wasted my time. If you insist on keeping the Millennium Puzzle, I'll just rip it from your lifeless fingers. Exclamation points. Out of my way, old man, or else. My prince, shatter the Millennium Puzzle. You must not hand it over to this vile creature. Out of my way, old man. Get your hands off me. Prince, the puzzle. Don't give in that puzzle. So, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, shatter the puzzle here. Which would effectively trap my soul inside of the puzzle, only to be found. Uh, we're not gonna get into that yet. Bones. Uh, the music for this is actually pretty cool. Thank goodness you've awoken. We're inside the Millennium Puzzle. 
To be precise, your soul is now sealed within the puzzle. I'm sorry, my prince, but this was the only way I could save you and the puzzle. I couldn't allow that... I couldn't allow you to simply hand over the puzzle to the likes of Heshin. The power of darkness that Heshin sought to unravel could only lead to destruction. The only, one day, when someone puts the puzzle together again, you will live to walk along, among men. Until that day comes, sleep, my prince. I'm sure there is someone out there that is destined to assemble the puzzle. In the end, that person and the Millennium Puzzle will guide you back to our world. Now rest, dear Prince. Close your eyes. Hey, Yugi. Wake up, Yugi. Huh? You dozed off, fella. Really? Sorry. What's the matter? So nervous that you couldn't sleep last night? I had a dream. You were dreaming? Man, nothing phases you, does it? Come on, it's time for the opening ceremony. Let's go. Okay, so we're in some sort of duelist tournament right now. And, um... We'll watch the opening ceremony, and then we'll, uh... We'll uh, get into the actual tournament next time. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! World Tournament, sp sponsored by the Kaiba Corporation. <clears throat> Attention duelists! My hair says that we're now at the town of Dynamo. Domino. Where selective duelists have gathered to decide who is number one. This is it, Yug. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not good at the Yugi voice. The battles are about to begin, but before we start, my hair has a few rules to explain. Tournament rules are divided between the preliminaries and the finals. For example... Who cares about the rules? All you gotta do is keep winning. Right, Yug? Huh? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, Joey. And now, a few words from our sponsor, Mr. Kyle. Look at that jacket, holy fuck. <coughs> I thank you for joining us in deciding the King of Kings. Today, we duel to decide who is the game master, the ultimate duelist. And I too am intent upon winning that honor. That Kaiba gets on my nerves. If anybody puts him out of the tournament, I hope it's me. Yug, I'm hoping to face you in the finals, okay? Sure. All right then. Attention duelists, may the best man win. Let the duels begin. Okay. I'm working part time as a, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, well that's gonna be it for this episode. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, rating, comment down below, and uh, subscribe if you wanna see some more, um, some more Yu-Gi-Oh. So uh, until next time, uh, take care of you guys. Peace out.